She came all the way from Germany to come to New York and she's going to be teaching at the origami convention because she's amazing, right? <laughs> so <laughs> today we're going to go to, I think, eight paper shops and we're just going to, you know, show you guys around, do little snippets of New York and hopefully you'll enjoy this. I know it's a different type of video that I'm used to doing, but it should be really fun. Well, um, I'm just really excited. Uh, I'm in New York, hey! And um, uh, really thanks Jenny for showing me around and Jenny will show the first couple of uh, paper shops and then we'll take a break and then I'll show you the rest of them. Uh, so enjoy! Alright, see you guys soon. Bye! Bye! Film some snippets right, for, of Times Square. Yeah. Hopefully I don't get hit by a car while crossing the street no, no, with no, a video no, no. camera. I'm take care of you, okay? <laughs> so our first stop is uh, called Kino Kuniya. I hope I am pronouncing it right. I think there's some construction going on, so you can't really see the store. But uh, noisy car. Wow. Yeah, what? very noisy car. Sorry, but this is located at 1073 Sixth Avenue or Avenue of the Americas, and that's you know on Sixth Avenue between 40th and 41st Street. Let's go Hi. right in. Oh my god, look at this place. I can see lots of paper already. Look at this place. Yes. And books. This hobby place craft is cooking. crazy. I think we have to go to That's hobby craft cooking. cooking. And unfortunately we weren't allowed to record a video, but hopefully we're more lucky in the next store. But we did buy something. Look at this awesome box for um, 60 squares of paper. And it also has like this special tray on it for school tools. And that was a lot of fun. So many great Japanese books and a lot of super, super beautiful paper. We show some pictures, just no video, but let's go to the next store. So now we're at Michael's store which is on 6th Avenue and between 21st and 22nd Street and I love this store. Most of my origami paper is from this store and just look how pretty it is. So pretty and we're going to go downstairs. Yeah, let's go downstairs. That's the great thing about going somewhere yeah. like <laughs> during the day. Yeah. Everyone's working, we're going paper mm -hmm. shopping. Yeah, yeah it's, I've never seen this store so empty before. But it's um, a Thursday afternoon, so I guess normal people are working <laughs> while we shop. We're just going to find the origami section. Yay for vacation! We have some paper over here. This is, I think, like the scrapbook. Yeah, there's scrapbook paper. But scrapbook paper mm -hmm. can be good for origami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've made kusudamas with uh, these papers. Like, I'll just buy a sheet and then cut them up. They're pretty thick, but they also have like glitter ones and yeah, nice glitter too ones bad, too. Actually, these ones. Lots of paper. Yep, the whole aisle is full of paper. And also washi tape, which I like. Do you use washi tape, Sarah? I, uh, I bought a couple of rows, but I haven't done too much with it. Yeah, these are great. Um, I just thought it was nice um, using them instead of tape for wrapping presents. <laughs> Because they look a bit nicer. <laughs> These are made out of cork, which is very interesting. Cork tape? Have yes. you ever seen cork tape? No, I haven't. Like glitter tape. And... Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a little bone folder that we what? found by Martha Stewart. Are you Stewart. crazy? Uh oh, a I bone think... folder with a knife? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> isn't it great? It's um, yeah, this is by Martha Stewart. So there's the knife at the top, and you can detach it and fold paper with yeah. it. Yeah, and and these ones, the stylus are really great if you're pre creasing um, tessellations or something like that. Mm -hmm. At least if you take the smaller tips. Yeah, so that's really nice. But I think I might get another one of these because they're really awesome, and it's oh, small. It doesn't Stewart take a lot of space. Folder. And I, uh, I think this is actually quite nice when you're doing cards to like score before you fold mm -hmm. cardstock so that it doesn't yeah. break. So you get a nice clean fold. But, um, and I thought, like, see, this, is, this kind of stuff is um, difficult or expensive to get in Germany because you can't simply get it in a store or on Amazon. Mm -hmm. It always has to be imported from the US. Yeah. <laughs> That's the happy <laughs> face right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> wanted to know I love these storage units by recollections up here they're a little on the expensive side and super heavy but I like how organizer makes everything look like that and, fits and that fits 15 yeah, cent, uh, exactly. six inch squares mm -hmm. right and those fit the three inch squares over there That's um, they're for $20 each I been meaning to get them but I haven't and then I also love these boxes here uh, for folding on the go so this fits yeah. uh, this is actually for photographs so it stores oh, yes. four by six paper but I like it for three by three paper and you get you know you just carry stuff on the go and has a snap closure and you have some space for the model you folded yeah yeah and it's not it doesn't take up that much room and then of course these are the ones that I use to organize my projects ah. I have six of these at and home they're square right yes they fit six by six paper yes, and there's a class a double clasp closure actually so it's extra extra secure so oh yes yeah I love Very these good. yeah now we're in the sticker section um, I love this section so much there's just such a variety look at this it's like it goes all the way down to the and end of the store uh-huh and the stickers and like the, the letters especially mm -hmm. Yeah, great because for making cards. Exactly, because and and you don't you don't even need to like do a full word with these. Just have one as an accent piece, mm -hmm. and then uh, do the rest like in something more simple to kind of offset it. I think that makes it even nicer. They have a whole bunch of uh, travel stickers too. So these are for scrapbooking and also card making. It's really great. Uh, I like to use a plain card and then. Put these stickers on and just you know just makes the card much more interesting and cool and here's a new york one of course so now we're in the stamp section there's just too much to see right here um i love the ink pads i have i have a couple of these actually i think i have this one i've done some rainbow art dot art with this one yeah maybe i could oh and i also have that i have this one at home this one does it does it stay moist? Yeah, it or does. does it dry it does, out quickly? It actually does stay moist. It's very spongy, um, but the color is very nice. Just the, I like. Oh, I like these colors even better. The primary colors. Yes, because I like to um, like uh, do prints of the feet and the hands of my children as they grow, Aww. and have, making them colorful is so much nicer. <laughs> so I think I'm going to take this because I need some new ones because the ones I have are like cheap and bad quality and they dried out. And <laughs> these stay moist, great. Yeah. And there's a tiny, tiny trimmer. So I have a really hard time cutting like small paper for whatever reason. Uh, it's just the trimmers that you know they make are really huge and so if you wanted to cut anything smaller than like a three inch square it becomes pretty difficult but I have something very similar to this I think and you know yeah, it does I have, the like, job. I have the guillotine machine it's huge and expensive oh yeah yeah and, and heavy, heavy and heavy and it's not good for small paper but it's great for yeah. cutting in bulk and, mm -hmm. and large sheets yeah I do have these tiny scissors though by recollections they're a little expensive but it really gets like the intricate cuts that you need. Good. Yeah, this is the fancier version of like doing envelopes and boxes because you can actually punch out these notches, I think, mm -hmm. um, with, with, with the hole puncher. Right yeah. yeah. And all of these come with bone folders. So look at this. I've never seen a bone folder in this color or mint green. So, and what is this one? Oh, this is a scoring tool. Yeah, I think it's probably just a replacement for these. <laughs> And Except then, in the boring color. Now we're going to go find the origami paper and I see it. I see it. It's under wood and art supplies. And Sarah's already beat me there. So this is the origami section of Michael's. It's not too big, but I think there's quite a bit of selection here. I think, um, it, I, I think it's nice that they have like very different kinds, like this craft style looks very mm -hmm. natural. I like the the feel it, it has. And then of course you have the really vibrant colors and um, and that gives nice, stunning models too. Mm -hmm. And then they have the more of the beginner kits too, the folding paper. They used to have kits called the Foldums, but it looks like they're sold out of them right now. Oh, this is the Foldum. Oh, this is the, oh, there's the Foldum. Yeah, it's really nice for for kids when they're just doing mm -hmm. something the first time because yeah. the paper makes the model look really special, and very often it includes like guidance and where to add. Exactly, the to. exactly. And these, of course, are fun. Pretty uh, yeah, prints. Uh, really, really beautiful. It's mm -hmm. like a Japanese 
actually um, it's also a different quality of paper it's like actual uh, washi paper yeah. rather than these which are kind of plasticky well hopefully not plastic <laughs> but def definitely more paper and this feels yeah. a bit more like fabric I guess mm -hmm. and uh, I love these I have a whole bunch of these to practice on this is what I use to design models and just practice on them with it yeah, nice and plain colored very great quality. And these are nice. Mm -hmm, the foil ones. The foil right because here. they fold really flat and they keep the shape and, and they're shiny. Of course, right? And look at all these colors. Look at them. And then we have the double sided uh, paper over here, which is always great. Right? Yeah. Because they're hard to find too. And you can get the six inch ones and cut them into three inch squares yes. and just, yes. you know, more bang you for your buck. You have nice color combinations, mm -hmm. like uh, Halloween colors too. Oh, yeah, black. the orange and black. Yeah. Good for the Halloween cat. Yes. Right? <laughs> Okay, and then over here we have, oh, this is actually on sale for $7. So you have a whole pack of travel paper. I actually have this at home in the smaller and larger version. And then this one over here, the smaller travel. My favorite design of paper ever. I have so many packets of these and I think and there's a couple Sarah has some of these yes, too, right? Yes, I, I actually got the like sometimes people visit me or people send me paper and someone sent me these. I had them on the flight and I was folding butterflies from them which was butterflies. my, uh, my in-flight entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, these are little tie-dye wow. ones. I those actually use gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I actually use these to make Kawasaki roses. But are these it, printed or are no? These are printed, right? Yeah, they're printed. But they're really, really nice patterns, mm -hmm. and it's easier because the tie dyes are often they. It's hard to fold because it's so soft. But if yeah. they're printed, it's easier to fold yeah. with them, and they still look stunning. And actually, this one we didn't open this, but somebody else did. So we can put our little finger in there and touch it. <laughs> there, you can touch. Oh, there we I go. really, I really like this yes, a lot this is because good. It's, yeah. it's thin and it's it's really paper because sometimes mm -hmm. you have um, bad quality origami paper which is more like plastic and it doesn't fold that well and it cracks when you fold it. But when yeah. it feels like paper, like printer paper, I suppose, just thinner mm -hmm. and crisper, then it's much nicer to fold with than this one is. Yeah, this one actually, um, I really like it because it's smooth in the top and yeah. then in the back there's some kind of like friction to it yeah. which makes it hold its shape a little better and actually but um, I have to say the creases are not always super strong when you use this paper yeah. but it does make really really beautiful Kawasaki roses and then we have the 100 colors this is the smaller version of I guess the, the, the other the one, one that we top. showed earlier and then this is fun too lots of patterns yeah. right mm -hmm. lots of them a lot of geometric pattern. shapes put that up there oh yeah and, I like to tidy um, up. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the origami mobile kits. So you get, I guess you get the whole kit with paper and... Although yep, you can do you that go. like, um, you can take like spores and and build your own kit, I suppose. And then you can choose your own papers. Mm -hmm. And I've done this a couple of times because... Um, so wh when someone someone's having a baby, uh, I like to give them something special. And lots of people like buy stuff and then you get multiples of them so I mm -hmm. usually try to do a mobile and then I just add like really di different papers and um, I found that the babies love the ones that are sparkly and shiny and like like foils if you mix in a couple of those they love it and everyone I've given one to they always say like oh it was such a fantastic present like while like maybe it's above the diaper table and then like they always concentrated and they love it and oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's so great. I and think it's great kind of doing, like taking your hobby and, and making it something to make other people happy. Yeah. And how big are usually your mobiles? Like how many cranes do you use? Like, um, not, not too many. So, so usually I do um, a cross. Well, let's see. I've got, I've got three screws. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six places to hang them, one in the middle makes seven, and then maybe I do two underneath, so maybe up to ten. Um, so, choose a couple of models, but <laughs> even just three is good too. Like anything that there is a little movement and a little interest. And sparkly, shiny stuff. I recommend adding at least one model from Sparkly Shiny. Maybe not all of it, so so that there's something to grab the attention of everything. Contrast. And then, oh, I think we missed this box right at the corner. The Ancient Art of Origami. I actually think this might come with a book, maybe. 
Maybe good yeah, for probably, beginners. Probably it's the, yeah, you can see, see that it's right a book here. and then the paper with it. Mm -hmm. It's one of those um, obvious starter kits. We have some uh, origami for children books. This is by Mary Ono and uh, Russian Ono. I hope I'm saying their names right, but it's pretty neat. Origami for children. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's with photos. That's yeah. Neat. Color photos too. Nesting boxes and goldfish. I see some traditional models, but also some original models too. And then, oh, this is cute Star Wars crochet. <laughs> Look at this, this is adorable. I don't really crochet too much, but it's not cute. It is. And then we have Wild and Wonderful Origami. Of course, the very famous Star Wars origami book. Color origami mm -hmm. too. The Battle Battlegami. Battlegami. I'm sorry. And I think there's another one. Oh, this is actually a larger. Oh wait, no. Oh, it's the this best version. Book, this book goes inside. Inside that, box. that one. It's even got a folded. Um, it can't color. be a real. No, dollar. it's not real because the one is is smaller. Ah, yeah. Normal dollar. So goes in ah, there. there. you go. Cool. Let's, let's ah, clean yes. up here. Okay. There we go. Yeah. But I have to say I love this because it has the fake currency for you to practice on. Actually, a hundred sheets of practice currency, which is really hard to find. I have some dollar bills too, um, fake ones, which mm -hmm. are really, I think, double the size or so. so yeah, cool. yeah. They're hard to find though. Yeah. Um, how to make paper airplanes, some animal origami over there. And and of course these paper craft animals, which is not origami, but still super duper colorful and cute and vibrant. I love that. Look at these owls. Um, much brighter color. Oh my gosh. So we just made this discovery. Apparently these are from Germany. Yes. And Sarah says they're I'm much shocked. brighter. And yes, the colors are different. They probably have a different recipe and taste different. It's more unnatural. <laughs> well, no, it's brighter. Mm. Maybe, maybe it's just um, more U.S. style. I don't know. <laughs> maybe Germans are more subtle. Right? <laughs> so we're just getting ready to check out. Um, we're gonna check out here. Sarah's getting letters. some stuff, some letters, a bone folder, mm -hmm. and some uh, pigment ink. Mm -hmm. Pigment ink. Yeah, they're yes. they're really great.